What is the most critical skill to learn in boxing? Most of you guys would probably say the punch, correct? What if I told you your footwork was more important than your punch, which is holding you back from actually having extreme power? Who am I? I'm Etzel Moore, and this is my journey of how I became a soon-to-be amateur boxer into a future pro boxer. Are you guys ready to join me through that journey? Because let's get started right now. For the first day, we did the usual routine, which I usually do. If you guys watch the first video, you guys obviously know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, it usually consists of just jump roping, shadow boxing, double end bag, and then heavy bag. And then some days I'll add the speed ball into that or speed bag into that routine. All right. But for today, uh, after doing all of that, when I was hitting the heavy bag pop, my coach noticed something. He noticed that my footwork wasn't all there. So he decided to help me out with that. He proceeded to put me in the ring and make me walk forwards and backwards, just getting comfortable with using my lead foot. And then also he started to teach me how to use my right hand when I'm moving back. And then he made me move from the left to the right, just learning how to change direction and stuff like that so that I'm not crossing my feet whenever I'm moving around the ring. That is something that he predominantly was trying to make me stop doing was the crossing the feet because he saw that I kept on doing that. And you know, if you're crossing your feet, you're going to lose balance when you get hit. This is where the ass part starts because like, what do you call it? He grouped me with a few people and uh, what do you call it? We started moving forwards and backwards and by then my legs were already kind of killing me from bending them so i was kind of just already like fuck you in a sense but then uh what do you call it this time it was more uh there was more consequences to making mistakes every time when you made a mistake he made you go down do five push-ups and then at the end he made us do various amount of push-ups hold ourselves and at the end at least I know where I'm at where I need to better myself because I had to go down for a bit. I had to go down. But after that, we went back into the uh, heavy bag and I tried to see what I was doing with my uh, footwork. And then that was pretty much it for that day. The second day we worked with Pierce instead of Pop. He's the head coach to this whole establishment. We learned how to roll under punches using our legs and body. And basically he had us moving forward and backwards while rolling. And then at some point, you had us doing one-twos after every roll that we did. And once we got into the center, you had to back off and do two extra jabs so that you knew how to back off of an opponent so that you're not just getting hit on every time when you're too close. And after doing it for a while, I went on every edge of the ring so that I could actually know how to do it on each side. And then I moved on to the heavy bag and tried to simulate those type of movements again onto the heavy bag while actually hitting something to get my heart rate back up and then i did the same ones but moving left to right the stuff that we learned the other day so i could know how to move and jab so i was using double end back for that and trying to still find a rhythm with it because i'm still pretty shit at it sadly enough that was the last of that type of training this week because we obviously had fourth of july and then july 5th we were close still and the weekend we do not have any uh what do you call it coaches there and the gym is basically closed on the weekends so that was basically it it was a short week for me sadly i couldn't get enough content for you guys but i still wanted to do this weekly upload and show you what i did learn and why i learned that footwork is so much more important than we think and before you guys leave i would like to say next episode will be about how i eat and the stuff that i eat you guys are going to come grocery shopping with me so if you guys want to please subscribe so that you guys know when i drop that and also for the new subscribers and for people that aren't really familiar with my content i post every sunday at 11 est so you guys can look out for that but if you guys don't want to keep on looking at your clock always have post notifications on and yeah everybody stay safe it's been good i'll see you guys in a bit all right